Okay, watch your steps, watch your steps. Oh, dan dan. Watch your steps. Sige na, diretso. Saan yung car? What are you doing? Ano yan? Ha? Monkey monkey? Go to your car. Car. Sige na, car. Go to your car. Sige, go to the car. Go to your car. What? One hand? Oh, show the viewers how you play the ball. Soccer. Oh, very good. Tapos, sa isa pa. One more. Right. Ha? Anong kulay ng tayo? Ha? May kay? Red?
Ay, kay. Pink. Saya mo ng pink. 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 <laughs> Anong kulay ng kay? Pink. Pink. <laughs> Accent pa niya ni Mamang. Ano pa? Ano pang kulay ng mga kay? Anong kulay? Pink. Anong pink? Blue yan? Blue. Pinilulubunsoy. Lulubunsoy. Ano yan? Kainin mo na yung bird. Yung bird. O, tawagan mo yung mga birds. Where are you? Ano yan? Ano ba yung meron dyan? Anong meron dyan? Ha? Oo. Dito ka, dito ka.
Dito na. Hey, Caleb, dito na. Oh. What are you wearing? What's that? What do you call that? <laughs> That's a hat. <laughs> ano yan? Oh, dito, dito ka, dito ka para makita ka. Oh, hello. Hindi, pakita mo yung muka. Okay, so... So, good afternoon. My name is Arnel Madraso. I'm the teacher blogger. So, with me is Kai, uh, Chris Alden Caleb. So, he is my nephew. Uh, he is the son of my sister-in-law, Almira. Wait, so I'm not... Uh, so, I have to look at the, that part. Oh, tapos... So this is my place here. So every morning around 8:30 to 9. So if you look at my skin, I didn't grow pale, but I grow dark because I do I do uh, I do tai chi. So what I did a while ago was tai chi. So this is my sanctuary of peace. So uh, after I usually do Tai Chi in the morning when it is uh, uh, hot because the sunrise uh, sunrise uh, is good for the health so you can get vitamin D plus the breathing exercise. Tai Chi is not really that strenuous. No? So for older people like I am, so I do Tai Chi. It's a very good respiratory exercise. So I'm not anymore used to looking at the camera. So I really have to look at the, So I, I'm looking at you. So so this is a return vlog for how many weeks I... In fact, months. No, I think my last vlog was first week of class, January, right? So I rested. No, I really rested and prayed hard because of our situation right now. So instead of creating a lot of noise in social media I'd rather stay silent pray and then I'm reading a book by James Martin SJ so I encountered the uh, so I encountered the uh, the examine no examine examination of conscience so that's a prayer that's a content contemplative prayer uh, designed by Saint Ignatius. So that is what I do after I exercise. I do my exam in here at the rooftop. So if you read the book, one of the passages there uh, I came across was that Saint Ignatius was usually doing his prayers, contemplative prayer, on the rooftop uh, in the autumn of his life towards his death. Most of his time he was spending it uh, at the rooftop where he sees the uh, the stars at night at the rooftop so it's silent so this 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 place is uh this is in fact the third floor and there's also the fourth floor there then you can already see that part there is the abs cbn tower and then this part here this part here is Kawakawa Boulevard, and if you can see that area there, that's uh, the grandstand where the frontliners, the military people are staying. Some, some of the frontliners, law enforcement uh, people are staying at the, at the gym, gym nation. Okay, so what would you say? Oh, say hi to your daddy. Hey, daddy, hi. Hi, daddy. Where is your daddy? In? Matabato. <laughs> ano yun? Kahit na naman. So here, you can see in the afternoon, there are so many children who are playing with their kites. No? So this is a good good place to see. Huh? Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> and then, so you can see. <laughs> Stand up. And so I usually do my my exam in here uh, because it's silent. And this is a uh, this is my return blog. So 
you can see in my expression that I'm again uh, not used to it, uh, not used to facing the camera anymore. So this is more of a practice vlog for me, getting the feel of it again. Then uh, later I'm going to edit this. So uh, I already prepared uh, one book that I'll be reading. So I'm I have bought this book uh, about uh, immunity. Uh, boosting the immune system. I bought this book, I think, two years ago at Harrison Plaza. But of course, for those of you who are staying in Manila, Harrison Plaza is not anymore in existence because I think they converted the place into, I think, condo, right? So that's a very, for me, my content is really, the main content is really I do book reviews. No? I really do book reviews, uh, research articles, uh, reviews about research and of course uh, the usual like uh, travel I mean the travel uh, conferences whenever I attend conferences I blog conferences seminars no, for teachers so that's read and interviews I'm interviewing young teachers or even veteran teachers so that's really the focus uh, so why did I uh, temporarily stop because uh, teaching uh, high school students uh, really entails a lot of time no? uh, even daily you meet your students so uh, there was a point that maybe I said to myself I think I have to temporarily stop because doing blogging is also needs a lot of uh, time in terms of uh, of course you'll be going to the site you're going to interview people and then you're going to always record and when you record then you will be excited to see the product and that is you'll have to do editing just just like this one after i after i blog i'm really excited to share this immediately so there was a point when i was teaching high school here uh, i said I really have to stop blogging so I can focus more on teaching. Then once in a while, if there are programs, no, I think I did in 2019. I think uh, first first sem, I was able to do few blogs. Uh, just you know to be able to upload uh, and share something. But for now, I was thinking I need to think of something. The content. The content should be uh, following a certain level of quality no? so this one uh, since this is just a start uh, I will try to see no uh, let's see the editing and then after that how many minutes then we will see of course this one I think this will only be about for about five five to six minutes max because considering that uh, there's so many gadgets that being that are being used in this house so I also have to consider the, the weight of this uh, video. So what to expect? So in the following days, uh, after reading the book, I'm going to do book review. And of course, the actual, like this one, uh, let's say this is the spontaneous type of blogging. So maybe the title of this blog is what I do uh, during quarantine. So on a quarantine, uh, some of the things that I do uh, other than reading so uh, this one I like to share the Tai Chi Tai Chi is really good for inner healing so those of you have back aches no back pain so you can google or go to YouTube and see the experts doing Tai Chi Tai Chi is really good for breathing it's a good breathing exercise then if you have body pains no this can help you ease out that pain because it puts your your core it puts the the tissues in place no? the muscles in place by not really uh, hurting the muscles if you're doing strenuous uh, exercise so this one is just very light if you don't feel like stretching to the fullest then you can just stretch mildly uh, slowly the movement is just very slow and it's also kind of a meditative type of exercise so what I do is that when I do Tai Chi 
it's like the energy they call the chi. I think of the energy as the Holy Spirit. So whenever I breathe, no, whenever I breathe, it's just like I'm thinking that the Holy Spirit is breathing through me. Whenever I'm breathing, there's healing. So whenever you feel something uh, painful, for example, in your throat, you're thinking about whether you're you already have that disease. So you ask for healing immediately. So of course there were mild symptoms so like example the itching of the throat and then but of course i'm sure that i will not be uh, infected because i'm not really going out no? I, i'm really following uh, the quarantine rules uh, seriously i think i only went out twice since march 19 no? so i only went out twice but i'm really with full protection no? so mask uh, with the mask and uh, the n96 uh, mask mask and then with the then the second time i went out was with the plastic and so i'm really following quarantine rules so so this one so i'm only staying here until around 5 30 6 o'clock and then after that when i go down then that's the time I'm going to attend the Mass with Pope Francis. So, then after that, I'm going to do my routine, uh, devotionals, and then I'm watching monastery documentaries. You know, anything, any documentary, especially about uh, monks and sisters, because that uh, will calm you down. <laughs> Instead of thinking of a lot of things, negative things. So, this is usually my... Uh, sanctuary. This is my sanctuary of peace uh, in this time of in this time of uncertainties. No, so I'm sure some of you are also feeling the uncertainties and confusion. Sometimes we are really not certain of what the future the future might bring for us. No? Uh, given that we are experiencing this pandemic, so. But what I do is I decided really it's a conscious effort to really. Uh, just tame down the noise in the social media. So I decided not to post anymore uh, about my thoughts. Sometimes uh, I thought that it's better if I will just share something that is positive. And uh, what better way to share uh, than to share God's word no, for us? So I decided just to attend Mass twice a day and then share God's Word in order that people will experience conversion. So if there are people who are not really into spiritual uh, spiritual, spiritual growth, no? I think in this, in this times of uncertainty, it's really important that we really have to go back to God and then search for the answer through him not through the noise in the social media sometimes what you're reading is fake no so but god is really true he cannot be fake so so whenever i feel uncertain so i'd rather read the bible i read every day i attend uh, mass twice a day and then I also read the scripture. And then I'm reading a book by James uh, Martin. Uh, he's a Society of Jesus uh, priest. And so he wrote about the contemplative prayer, about St. Ignatius. So this is a very silent place for me where if you can hear at the background, so you can hear the birds chirping. It's like whenever I pray here, after doing Tai Tai Chi, after doing the Tai Chi, so I do, I do examine. Examine, for those of you who are familiar with examine, it's examination of conscience. So it's prayer that you will have to, to, really, to really get deeper into your encounter with God. And so, it's, it's really different when you are doing contemplative prayer. So it's a contemplative prayer by Ignatians, no? designed by Ignatius, Saint Ignatius, in order for us to really develop a 
closer relationship or encounter with Jesus Christ. So, for those of you who are Christians or Catholics, some of you are familiar with the examine. So.